Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kindly here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Fantasy Life, continuing exactly from where we left off. So let's go into the Elderwood, and we need to head over to the Deep Elderwood, I believe. Anyway, follow the red arrow. Bro, just listen, will you? Wow! Isn't that Pierre and Butch over there? What are they up to? What are they up to indeed? Must find the Doomstone! Hey! Hey, what are you two goons doing here? You gotta help me! There's something weird about my bro! Well, that's nothing new. Yeah. When he's not being weird, I mean, even that hairstyle is bizarre. Oh. Oh, what a mean thing to say. Butch, hold your tongue. Bro, you're back to normal? Oh, happy days. Banana brain, there's nothing wrong with me. Eh, uh, as for what we're doing here, we've gone straight, you see. No more scheming, now we're model citizens. We pick mushrooms, we collect trash. Eh, uh, what are you talking- why are you talking like that? He's been like this for a while, all odd-like, ever since he met her. Um, don't tell me he's talking about... Please remember us for your mushroom picking and trash collecting needs. Oh, now he's talking normally again. You should be careful too, you know. There's a tombstone in this forest. Thanks to the to which the forest's full of paladins roaming around, getting in the way. Getting in the way? Ugh, I meant doing a fine job. He's doing it again. Well, I'm afraid we're very busy right now. No time to chat. Good day. Where you up, bro? Rawr! The baby nap dragons look so weird. <laughs> They're nothing like I imagined. Well, that was kind of bizarre. Definitely. But there's no time for that. We have to find the doomstone. Hughes is probably around here somewhere, so let's just keep going deeper into the forest. Sounds like a plan, Laura man. Anyway, let's go. This away. Kylie, isn't that Hughes over there? I wonder if he found something. Most interesting, yes, this is truly a historical object. What is it? It appears to be composed of the same material as Castell's goddess's statue. This forest must be full of artifacts left over from legendary times. Now, I wonder what's up ahead. Nothing, that's what. Who said that? Don't look at me. I didn't say anything. Me either. Whoa! You may not pass. Eek! <laughs> Who are you? Consider yourselves warned, humans. We are the forest dwellers. Long ago, you Castellians swore an oath never to trespass in our forest. An oath? An oath which you have sworn before the spirits. I suggest you turn back now or face the forest's wrath. An oath to the spirits, the forest dwellers? Consider yourselves warned, humans. And there he goes again. Hey, I was talking to you. Uh, I think he's gone. I guess let's follow the arrow. Giant fish! Kylie, did you hear what the funny man said? As the funny man said, it's raining. You may not pass. Hmm. But we must. We have to find the doomstone. I have to admit, I'm a little scared entering a forbidden forest. 
But we must. We have to give the Queen's letter to the forest children. Could they be the forest dwellers the funny man mentioned? Hmm. An old oath. What is it, Laura? I finally remembered it. I finally remembered what my mother told me when I was a little girl. What did she tell you? One must pay their respects to the forest dwellers in, if one wishes to enter the Elderwood. If you get into trouble or get lost deep within the forest, simply listen for the voices of the spirits. For they are sworn to help you, bound by an ancient oath. That's what mother said anyway. Listen for the voices of the spirits. I'm sure we'll be safe within the forest. I have faith in mother's words. Even though she's not my mother, I believe in her too. Your mother is the one who told us that a goddess's treasure is hidden in Elderwood. Really? Yes, she told us as we were leaving the castle, right Kylie? That must be the, tr the fourth and final goddess's treasure Hughes mentioned. Guarded not by humans, but by the spirits. Maybe those spirits will guide us to the treasure with their voices. It's worth a try. Let's go, Kylie. Sounds like a plan. Let's venture forth. So this is what the deep elder wood is like. It's p pretty different for to the forest we've travelled through so far. What a what creepy atmosphere! Feels d dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Kylie, you look as cool as a cu cucumber, not scared. I d d don't mind ad admitting, I don't think I've ever b b been this scared before. I'm starting to doubt that my mother's words were true. I c c can't hear the voices of the spirits over the s sound of my teeth ch ch chattering. M m me neither. I, I don't think I want to hear any voices in a f forest like this. Eek! What was that? Was it a scream? Is that what a spirit sounds like? I don't think so. It sounded like a girl's scream. Let's go, Kylie. Oh, this is terrible. A young girl being attacked by shadow monsters. Kylie, we have to help her. But I don't see the doomstone anywhere. Kylie, what do we do? There's no doomstone here at all. Forget the stone. We have to help this girl first. Kylie, what are you going to do? I'll fight this time. Got it. Good luck. I'm not letting this slide. I don't feel sorry for little wolfies. They need to go down. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay, I think. They just chewed me a little. What? They bit you? It was only a little chew. A bit harder than the usual playful nip, though. Ouchie. Please don't blame the monsters. Something's making them act this way. It's got to be the Doomstone. Guess there really is one here somewhere. Looks like the Paladin report was right. Thanks to you, my little friend was saved. I'm forever grateful. But I'm surprised to see humans here. Humans? What are humans? Oh, never mind. My name is Layla. Layla? I'm gonna... Layla? Leela? I'm just gonna say Layla. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Whatever. I'm Laura. This is Kylie. And our little flustery friend here is called... Flutter. She's a butterfly, but she makes us call her Flutter. Cute, huh? She's a princess, but she makes me call her Laura. Cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give it her back, Flutter. Give it her back. Hey, Miss Butterfly. Show some respect to your future queen. Tee-hee-hee. <laughs> I never knew butterflies and humans could be such good friends. You said it again. What are humans? Hmm. Why, are you in our forest? Are you looking for something? Oh, we're looking for a doomstone. Doomstone? It's a kind of dangerous stone that falls from the sky. It's all black and shadowy and creepy looking. A doomstone? 
That and the goddess's treasure. I'm totally doing the same voice for Layla and Laura at the moment. <laughs> goddess's treasure? Right, we've heard tell of it in, ancient, in an ancient legend. But all we know is that it's got something to do with the spirits. Hmm, would you like to come home to my village with me? A village? You mean humans actually live in the forest? My village is called Elderwood Village, but there are no humans living there. Our village chief is really old. I asked her once how old she was, and there were so many zeros. Hmm, anyway, she knows everything about old stuff. I bet she even knows about that old legend of yours. Really? Well, lead the way. Yes, please take us. I'd love to meet the village chief. Come on, Kylie. Okay, please come this way. You run along now. Sweet. Is it this way or... I think it's this way. Look, Kylie! Such a strange looking entrance! It must lead to a cave, right? Eek! Tee hee don't worry, it's perfectly safe in there. My village is right through here, just a little further, okay? So this is where I came to on a previous episode and I couldn't advance any further, so I suspected it would be something to do with storyline. Ooh, I'll have me some of those. Gotta take those mushrooms! Your village is inside a cave? It looks like a dead end. Tee hee one moment please. Hey! Choho? Chupa Baya Churu? Churu Munda Tayla Laya? Laya Laya? She's back! Laya's back! <laughs> oh god. Yes, spirits, it's me, and I brought guests with me. Chuhuya? Churabunda guests? Gus guests? Are those? The voices of spirits? This way, please. My home is just ahead. Elderwood Village. I bet you it's going to be absolutely gorgeous in here. And I was right. How nice does that look? So this is Elderwood Village. What a strange place. And what's this sparkly stuff falling everywhere? It's beautiful. Is it that... Is... Is that a goddess statue? It looks a bit old, but it's identical to the one in Castel. I think I remembered seeing the same statues in Port Puerto and Almagique as well. Come to think of it, I heard that each land in Riveria has its own goddess statue. It must be an honour, the goddess with the, whose blessing the lands were formed. I totally messed up there. <laughs> you mean... Oh, it's my big brother. It's the forest dweller from before. And you are? Look here, I am. I'm back. Layla. I can't believe it, you snuck out again? I told you not to go into the forest until those stones stopped falling from the sky. Sorry. Not to mention bringing humans into our village. How could you? But they're really nice, honest. Really? You saved my little sister's life? Then I must thank you. I am Pino. This is Layla. And these are the forest spirits, the Leafies. Charumunda, the nice humans. Nice humans, nice humans. Ever since those stones started falling, the forest monsters have been acting strangely. As a token of my appreciation, I should extend to you the hand of friendship, but... You see, since time immemorial, outsiders have been forbidden to enter our village. Is that a law? Yes, it's an agreement made in the goddess's name between we forest dwellers and the human race. At least, that's what the legend says. I'm afraid I don't know all the details. 
Anyway, humans do not come bothering us and we do not go bothering them. Are you saying that you're not human? I mean human? Of course we're not. We are forest dwellers. We reside with the spirits. We are half human and half other. I see. Anyway, there's a reason we're here. See, we're looking for the goddess's treasure. We were hoping we could see the village chief. The village chief... The village chief knows lots about really old stuff, right? I never heard the village chief mention any goddess's treasure. Vino, please let me take let me take Kylie and her friends to see the great spirit. No, I forbid it. But why? You mind your own business, Layla. These humans leave these humans to me. But I told you they're nice, they really are. No, Layla. You you big dum dum Layla, Layla. I apologise on behalf of Layla. She's grown into a headstrong young woman. As her older brother, I would rather she did not fraternise with unproven individuals. Please, I beg you understand. Hmm, unproven? Indeed, it is a condition of the ancient agreement. Is there any way we can get proven? Like by taking an exam, passing a trial? Ha ha ha, how amusing, a butterfly that speaks of human concepts. I've never seen those wings markings before are you from the forest no i'm from uh i mean oh i'm from castell of course yes i live in kylie's house i see well you must be tired i shall permit you to rest a while but i'm afraid that once you have rested i must escort you from the village sorry to keep on about it but this place is not somewhere for humans to visit but i'm a butterfly a butterfly who lives with humans is just as bad as a human Oh, how cruel you are. Please, just let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll lift the seal upon the entrance. Talk to Pino. So it says to go over here. Oh good, you're ready to leave? Fine, I shall continue to wait. All oh, right, okay, so it looks like I have to say we're ready to leave then. Oh good, you're ready to leave? Then I shall escort you to the exit. There, you should be able to pass. I truly am grateful to you for rescuing my little sister. Well, safe travels. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you first. Has has a Castellian lady ever passed through here? A Castellian lady? Well, we do get the odd lost human wandering around our borders, but come to think of it, I remember a human lady being allowed to visit when I was little. Back when there were many other children of the forest before they all went away. Actually, Blue Cap, you remind me a little of that lady. I knew it! Mother's been here! Oh! What's wrong, Flutter? Mr. Pino, please, read this. We were told to give this letter to you, children of the forest. A letter? But from who? From Ophelia, the Queen of Castell. Well, this should do the trick, hopefully. From Mother? Lady Ophelia? Hmm, I dare say this letter is intended for the Great Spirit herself. Very well, I shall personally deliver it to the Great Spirit. And, uh, incidentally, the name of Lady Ophelia is not unknown to me. I... You mean... Pino, Pino! What's wrong? Lelia, Lelia collapsed! What? Oh dear. What is this? Pino, what's wrong with Lilia? Lilia gone die? I've never seen anyone in a condition like this before. What could be the cause of this? Maybe it's the effects of the Doomstone. What are you talking about? Doomstones have the power to possess nearby monsters and make them violent. And Lilia was bitten earlier by a pair of those shadow monsters. Maybe the monsters transferred their condition to her through their bite. My sister and I are half human, half monster. It's not impossible that we could contract a monster's condition. How can I save my sister? Forest medicine won't cure this? 
I can try to help her. You can help her? How? Have you got some special medicine? I can use my power to hold back the Doomstone's effects. Everyone, stand back. Blood to the rescue! Haha, -ha, there we go. At last, revealing your true form, Flutter. W -w what? Y you're the girl from Mount Snow Peak. Kylie, Laura, please forgive me. My true name is you, Elia. I wanted to say something. I really did. I'll try to explain later. I have to help L Lelia right now. Look, the shadowy parts are spreading fast. I'm going to use my power to hold off the effects of the stone temporarily. Kylie, Laura, you have to find the Doomstone before it's too late. Okay, Kylie. Let's go, Kylie. Can you really save my sister? I think so. No, I know we can. But we need to destroy that Doomstone. I understand. I shall guide you through the forest. Please come with me. Okay, looks like we need to go go back out into the forest and uh, locate the Doomstone. There's a strange aura coming from up ahead. Yes, I feel it. I can't stop shaking. This whole place is off limits. If the Doomstone fell around here, I bet no one's found it yet. Bro, why you gotta do everything she says? Bro, don't tell me you think she's pretty, do ya? Yes, very pretty. Very, very pretty. You're talking all funny again, bro. It's creeping me out. Rawr! Ah, what? What was I saying? And you're back to normal again. Heh. <laughs> Her personality may not be up to much, but she's certainly easy on the eyes. No, no, what am I saying? That's hardly relevant to the current situation. You two again. Oh, eh. Uh, what a coincidence. Seems we just keep running into each other. I don't believe it, but I'm actually glad to see you. It's my bro. He's acting all possessed again. We're not doing anything wrong, I swear it. See? Rawr. Huh? What are you two doing prowling around here? You don't know us, man. Don't accuse us of prowling. We're searching. You stupid squash head. Just keep quiet. You took your sweet time. Did you get what I asked for? Hmm? Uh, well, it's not as easy as all that, not like we didn't try. Please, just give us a little longer. We endeavour to serve. Bro, you're a slave now? Silence, turnip head, I ain't anyone's slave. Ha 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 Oh, it's you, so we meet again. Where's Goody Two Shoes, not with you today? Hmm, someone's been affected by the Doomstone. And Euelia is using her powers to stop the spread. Ha! Huh. Always the little saviour. Still, from what you say, saving her might not be as simple as destroying the Doomstone. What? But why not? It's not like it was when the Shadow Monsters are affected by the Doomstone's influence externally. The girl's been bitten by a monster, right? That means the Doomstone's power has directly entered her bloodstream. Breaking the Doomstone won't help. If it's evil, it's already inside her body. No! So, what do we do? Hey you, Kylie, or whatever you're called. I'll help you out, just cause this is an interesting case. Get rid of the shadow monsters that bring me the Doomstone shards. I should be able to make a potion to restore the girl back to normal. You goons help too. What? Us? I'll need some other materials to synthesize the potion. Go and get these. But these are... Yup, mushrooms. Right up your alley. Quit your belly aching and get a move on. Bro, this seems too dangerous. I agree, butch. 
But for some reason, whenever I hear that voice, I must obey. She's made you her slave. Yes, mistress, your wish is my command. Roo! <laughs> Good doggy, do as you're told. You should make haste. It looks like this particular doomstone is especially potent. Good luck, I'll meet you by the village entrance when you're done. Oh my, oh my! She just turns into a butterfly as well! Girls that can turn into butterflies? Could that mean they're both the goddesses? The goddesses what? No, never mind, ignore me. Let's just do what she says and do it quickly, otherwise my poor sister will... Yes, first we need to get that doomstone. There! So many shadow monsters all in one place! Is the big one in the middle the shadow monster's boss? Monster boss? This can only mean one thing! Over there, the doomstone, Kylie, look! Watch out, you two! I'm going in! Woo! Stone, or what's left of it. It's the biggest one I've seen yet. I guess it's just as she said, Riveria really is going to. No, now's not the time. Kylie Pino, let's take this and go quickly. Please, hold on, Lelia. This way, isn't it? You bought the doomstone shards, good. Can you use them to save, Lili save Lelia? Yeah, no props. Oh look, my little doggies have returned. That, that was close call. This is what you needed, isn't it? Good, alright, you're off the hook, ugly. Really? Hmm, what does... Pino, Pino, the Lily is still sick. Kylie, did you manage to destroy the Doomstone? I have the shards right here. Noelia, what are you doing here? Hmm, they asked me to help. Looks like I was right, simply smashing the Doomstone did not cure her. Give me a moment. All right, it's prepared. Use this on the girl, go on, go ahead. Thank you, I'll give it a try. Will it be gonna be okay, haha? <laughs> Look, the shadows are fading away. Lilia getting better, Lilia saved. Oh, Lilia, you're going to be okay. Kylie, no payment necessary this time. I'd feel bad when you look so happy. Noelia! What did I just hear you say to Kylie? No big deal, forget it. I didn't say anything. But you've been so devious about trying to get your hands on Doomstones. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I think I know where I can find what I was really looking for. I'm gonna get going. Mistress! Where, where are you going? What is your next command? Bro is still possessed! Oh, I forgot. 
I was supposed to honor enchant you. And there. Ugh. What? What happened to me? Bro, are you back to normal? For real this time? Noelia, you scamp. I've told you before, it's wrong to manipulate people. What's the big deal? Who cares if I make use of some no-good lazy layabout who doesn't even have a life? Besides, maybe I should introduce a new life. The puppeteer life, my gift to Riveria. Like you ever did anything that wasn't 99% selfish. You're such a do-gooder. Quit meddling in other people's affairs and focus on your own responsibilities for once. Why, we don't have much time left, you know. I'm gone. Kylie, it's been real. Noelia? Ugh. What's wrong, bro? I can't remember anything. What did I do? I was picking mushrooms in the forest, like usual. Then I met that girl. Then she started to entice me. Uh, I mean, she spoke to me and I came over all funny. Bro, I'm gonna speak my mind for once. You're a real sap when it comes to women. Get a grip and quit a acting like a love-struck puppy. Yes, Butch. You're right. My eyes have been opened. From this day forth, I pledge never again to lose my mind over a girl. Bro, I'm so glad. I wonder if he'll fancy her. Lelia! Pino? Oh my, what's going on? Lilia is better! Lilia is saved! Butch, look bro, ain't dad great? The girl is all better again. Everybody, thank you so much. My lady, the pleasure was all mine. There is no need for you to thank me. For you, I would pick every mushroom in the forest and present them to you as a token of my devotion. Um, who are you? Bro, what's happened to your pledge? Be quiet. I do not need to explain my love to you. Sister of mine, you cause me nothing but worry. I'm sorry, Pino. Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you're okay, Lelia. It's so nice to have a sibling. It's like you've always got a <gasps> friend. Oh, please don't cry. You are such a big help today, Flutter. I mean, you, Lelia, wasn't it? That's right. I'm so glad everything turned out okay. Aren't you, Kylie? Talk to you, Elia. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth. I didn't want to deceive everyone. I've always wanted to tell you the truth for so long, Kylie. But I was scared you wouldn't believe me. Will, will you forgive me? Oh, Kylie. Of, of course we would, would have believed you, you Elia. You silly thing. I don't care if you're not who you said you were. You're still you. You're still the same butterfly uh, girl who came adventuring with us, right, Kylie? But, but, I lied to your faces so many times. Maybe, but I'm sure you had your reasons. We know you're a good-hearted little fly. Oh, Laura. Come here, silly. Now I can wipe your tears. Do you have any idea how hard it is to wipe a butterfly's tears? <laughs> Hmm, hee <laughs> thank you. Noelia is my sister, did you guess? She acts like a horrible brat, but she's not a bad person inside. I think that she and I are both looking for the same thing. A way to save Riveria, using the power of wishes. The power of wishes, huh? Yes. A way to save Riveria from the doom, which is ever approaching. Father said these words to us. To save this world from destruction, you must use the power of wishes, a power that has all but gone from Riveria. Apparently there is a connection between the power of wishes and each life in this world, so Noelia and I both came to Riveria to try to find that power, but we ended up getting separated on the way here. You came to Riveria, but from where? From some place far away. Kylie, Euelia, Laura! Could you come here for a moment? The Great Spirit has spoken. She wishes to meet with you. Really? But you said we were unproven. Yes, well, the Great Spirit, she read your letter, you see. And she has decided to deem you all proven. 
The forest dwellers have a special agreement with certain members of the royal family of Castell. According to the Great Spirit, you, Laura, are none other than the rightful heir. To you, Laura, are none other than the rightful heir to the throne. That's true. The Great Spirit waits within. When you are ready, please make your way to her. Kylie, let's go with Laura too. Okay guys, I'm going to stop this episode here and on the next episode it should be the final part of this particular chapter of the Tale of Lunares. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video. Remember, all types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.